Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi there, I'm Joletta, and I'm so glad you've joined me for today's scripture reading. In Matthew 7, 24 to 29, Jesus tells the story of two men, one wise and one foolish. So let's see what happens. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. And when Jesus finished say these sayings, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he was teaching them as one who had authority and not as their scribes. With this text, Jesus finishes his Sermon on the Mount. And throughout his entire sermon, Jesus' teachings counteracted the legalistic traditions of his Jewish audience. And he concludes with this challenge to listen and obey. We have two men in this story, one who accepted Jesus' challenge and one who didn't. The one who did listen and obey is described as wise. The wise man heard Jesus' words and then put those words into practice in his life. Because of this, the wise man had a solid foundation for living. So when trouble came and life got really hard, this wise man was ultimately okay because his life was built on the firm foundation of the truth of Jesus. The second man in the story is described as foolish. This man also heard the teachings of Jesus, but he rejected them and lived his life in his own way, however he pleased. And when trouble came and life got really hard for this man, his life was destroyed because he lived to fulfill his own selfish desires, which is foolishness. This same challenge extends to us today. The scriptures are filled with the teachings of Jesus and the commandments of God. And when we hear those teachings, do we accept them and apply them to our lives or do we reject them and do our own thing? God gives each of us a choice. And in this particular situation, he also lovingly warns us in advance about the outcome of each choice. In verse 25, the storms came to the wise man, but the house did not fall. But in verse 27, the rain fell and the storms came to the foolish man, and his house fell with a great crash. So the choice is ours. If you have already chosen to follow the teachings of Jesus, be encouraged that whatever challenges you are facing in this moment, through the power of God in your life, you will overcome. However, if you have responded like the foolish man, it's not too late to make a different choice. Confess your previous rejection to God. Acknowledge that Jesus paid the penalty for your sins through his death on the cross. And that just like Jesus rose from the dead, so too can the Holy Spirit give you a new life. And then start putting into practice the teachings of Jesus. You can learn his teachings by reading the Bible, listening to Bible teachers, seeking the guidance from those who have been following Jesus for a long time. So my prayer today, help us all to choose to respond like the wise man by listening to and obeying the words of Jesus. And may we also be assured and encouraged that God protects us through any storms we may be facing. Amen.